Hey friends, welcome back to Failure Retirement. Today I decided it was time for a little shop talk in the shop recliner. By the way, shop recliner, one of the top five decisions of my life. Brilliant move. Guy just needs a place to take a break once in a while. Anyway, today we're going to have a little rant about the supply chain. I don't know what is wrong with this country. Fully aware of the pandemic messed some stuff up. But please, like, we're a couple years deep into this. Here's what I've been experiencing. You comment and tell me if you've seen similar stuff. So... First, I'm going to talk about the new recliner. This is one of the old recliners. Uh, the new recliner we ordered a little over a year ago. New Lazy Boy. Bought it straight from the Lazy Boy showroom. It took nine months to get here. Like, are you serious right now? Nine months to get a Lazy Boy? And they just say that they're backlogged and they don't have enough people at the factory building them. Like, seriously? Like, how hard is that? So then, moving forward a little bit, last August, we ordered some new garage doors. One for the house and one for the detached garage. Two doors, pretty standard. I asked the guy, you know, how long it's going to take to get them. Oh, no problem. Should be six to eight weeks. Okay. He wanted half the money up front, which annoyed me pretty seriously. Like, if I'm waiting that long, like, you're not getting the bill for the doors anytime soon. Like, why do you want the money up front? Anyway, he basically told me if I wanted garage doors, I was going to give him half the money up front or I wasn't going to get any. Well, okay. So I go ahead and give him half the money and end of August, he orders my garage doors. Sometime in the middle to the late November, I start calling going, hey, what about these garage doors? Am I going to get those or not? Well, they would have to find out and then forget to call me back. So that's amazing. And then after that, um, one of the times I called, the girl at the counter, she says that I need to call the garage door manufacturer and find out where they are. Like, okay, are you serious right now? Like, you want me to call the people that you get the garage doors from? Anyway, so now it's uh, the end of April. I, I got the first garage door in January. And end of January, they finally showed up with it. And then the second one, he actually had it that day, but he was missing one panel. Didn't realize that till he gets to my house. That seemed kind of dumb. So took another three weeks or something to get that other panel. And then they didn't have the right track. So end of February, I got the second garage door. So the problem was the first garage door, two of the four panels were dented. So they said, no problem. They order me more and they'd come back when they come in and they're going to expedite it. Uh, shouldn't take very long. Well, those other two panels come in, and guess what? They're dented worse than the original ones. So here we are, end of April. They're supposed to be out here next Wednesday, which would be May 3rd. They're supposed to put the other two panels up. What do you want to bet they're dented? Last time they were here in March... They were going to expedite it. They were going to take the panels from another job, whatever. Seemed like they were getting kind of anxious to get the other half of their money. 
I don't know. Like, we'll see what happens. They're not making any money on this job. Between the two doors, they've been out here probably 10 times working on them. Like, I don't understand what's wrong with the garage door company. I, I don't understand, like, why it's so hard to get a garage door. That just seems kind of dumb. So then the next thing, I decide I want another pickup. I need just, like, the Super Duty's awesome, great for towing, great for when I actually do work. But if I'm being honest, a lot of my work involves going to the hardware store for a handful of stuff and a trip to the post office. So I decided to go ahead and order me a Ford Maverick. So here we go. So ordered the Ford Maverick September 19th. I knew that I was looking at a good six, eight months to get the Maverick. I was just hoping to have it about now. Get a little busier in the spring, typically. Uh, typically the uh, trusty Super Duty, it gets its annual spring break at the Ford garage. Uh, to get the emissions system overhauled. Generally about every May, takes a week every time. Super awesome. This is one of the reasons why we're getting a Maverick. Well, so here we are, coming right up on the 1st of May. No Ford Maverick, not scheduled for production yet. Production scheduled all the way out through the end of June right now. So best case scenario right now is we get scheduled for production in either July or August. Once it's scheduled for production and it gets built, going to be about another one to two months to get it so if i have the maverick by august that's going to be good probably could easily be september so it takes a year to get a new ford truck seriously like what is wrong like what's going on here i i don't understand like Get your shit together, build the parts. If you don't have enough employees, hire more. If you can't find employees, guess what? Maybe you're not paying enough. Yeah, I know, this is what leads to inflation. If you have to pay more for employees, you're gonna have to charge more for the product. It just is what it is. I ordered this stuff, I want it make it interesting to see your comments like i'm looking forward to it let me know like what you've been struggling with have a good day